I'm ready to match all of these seams in the center. The center seams have been pressed in opposite directions to make it easier for matching. When I put right sides together, these seams will push up against each other and nestle in place. Now all I need to do is get these tips right here to line up. And I can do that by eyeballing it. Uh, it looks pretty good. Or sometimes I like to take a pin, find that point, and then go straight across to the point on the other side. And that sort of shows me where everything is if I keep that pin nice and straight. I also want to make sure that both of the edges are nice and straight before I start pinning. And yes, I do pin when I'm matching points. Here's another pin. I'm pinning kind of low and I'll show you why in a second. I like to pin these corners to make sure that I've got it nice and straight and I'll pin this corner. Let me take this out. So I've got these pins a little lower so I can pull that back and peek one last time. That looks good before I take it to my sewing. I use a scrap of fabric to get started. I slow down when I get close. And I make sure that I remove the pins as I sew. Sometimes I use a stiletto or the tip of my scissors to help hold this in place as I remove a pin. Now there's an intersection here that I'm coming to. It's where this stitch line and this stitch line meet. I like to sew about a thread over this way from that intersection. So let me get in there. This one out. Here's my intersection. I'm about one thread over from where that meets. Let me open that up and there's my matching center that I can take over to the ironing board and press. Let's say you open up your block and the tips don't match. Well, there's a couple things that you can do. In this block, you'll see the tips are far apart from each other. So you could just shut that and stitch a thread over in this direction. If we did that, then our tips would be matching. Sometimes though, you just have to rip out or you can decide you're not gonna rip like I usually do and use a button to cover up any mistakes or use an applique. I also like to use fabric with lots of prints that help camouflage my mistakes as seen here in this orange pinwheel. For more quilting tips, visit learnhowtoquilt.com. Please share our videos with your friends. Thanks.